Uh, we have this 23-24 Toyota Tacoma. It's got a couple of miles on it, like literally. Uh, I think he's, I think it's got like 2,900 miles, something like that. So we're gonna match the back <clears throat> and then we're going to do a full windshield and 50%. Um, I'm gonna show you, these are gonna be longer format videos, guys. These are gonna be like really in-depth, sort of how-to pretty much every step. We will try to keep the GoPro alive uh, as long as possible because, you know, these things tend to overheat. So if we want to match the back, first of all, we need to know what the back is. So if you want to do this professionally, guys, highly, 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 highly recommend you get a light meter. I got all kinds of little uh, fuzzies from that towel. So <clears throat> go ahead and move that out of the way. Get the old uh, uh, Tent Check Pro. If you wanna do this professionally, I highly recommend getting a two-piece. If you can't afford a two-piece, whatever, just get something. Uh, this just gives you the option to meter glass, obviously, that's you know fixed, doesn't roll down, so back glasses, full windshields, whatever, so 29%. Uh, if you wanna get super technical, you can do some math and meter your front doors, your front doors are never gonna be 100% clear, um, but we know that 35% is gonna be the best bet to get to 29. We should end up being about 26%. <clears throat> so, we know we need 35. All right, what's up, we're back. Uh, only took a couple minutes. So now, uh, we're not going to scrub it and blade it and all that stuff again because the only thing we did was realize that we had the wrong pattern and uh, yanked it back off. So we're just going to basically just squeegee it back off just to ensure that any dust that might have been lingering or whatever um, is not going to be on there. So if we want, we can bump that up just a smidge. That'll make it just a tiny bit easier for us. And then, uh, you know, just squeegeeing all that moisture out. Hoping that it takes any trash with it. Yeah, that looks that looks like a better pattern there. Whoop! I squeegee the top edge so any dirt dust that might be lingering up there uh, goes away. <laughs> Poor kid, she's gonna be so mad now. Uh, so get all this smoothed out. We know we need to come back. There we go. And uh, guys, a lot of people think that plotter cuts are perfect and you gotta have this $9,000 machine. Uh, it's it's really more so in the software and how you have it set up. Uh, Cause that machine right there will outcut a $6,000 Roland that I, I personally had hands-on experience with uh, running FVD and uh, film and vinyl designs. And, it, and it's just, it is what it is. Um, the pattern has a lot to do with it. So one thing I always like to do is just boom, boom, double check. And then on these, you got to be kind of careful uh, because of that rounded edge. So as long as we're covered on both sides, <clears throat> our top edge looks pretty good. Um, we should be good. Now, uh, back to the top edge, the fit and all that good stuff. I've really been using this whole experience with a plotter as a big experience experiment. Um, and honestly, unless I've absolutely needed to on the top edge, I don't mess with them. I don't shave them. I don't file them. And the whole, th the whole deal is I just want to see if anybody notices. And so far I've had this, uh, been running this for about three months. Not a single person has noticed. Not a single person has cared. Um, I've posted little short videos on YouTube, uh, the shorts you know, plotter cut, hand cut, and people, oh, it's gotta be hand cut, I can see the little bobble or this, that. Uh, no, uh, pretty much everything uh, that I've posted has been plotter cut in the last couple months. Um, there have been some, obviously, that I've hand cut, but the amount is like way down over normal. Now, once in a while, you know, I go out on a mobile job or something, and they say, oh, well, you know, can you do my sunroof? Can you do this? Can you do that? Okay. And yeah, I can bring my plotter with me. I just prefer not to. Uh, it's kind of awkward, kind of a pain to load up and unload and all that. So you can tell this pattern's still shifting all over the place. We want to get one good, nice, hard pass here on this whole top edge. 
kind of like the same deal I was having with all type, right? Where now that we've got it on the glass, now it wants to slip and slide everywhere and that's okay. We're just gonna push all the moisture that we can out. And I'll show you a little trick. Get that edge. I like to go up out of the top as well. Same over here. Make no mistake guys, I'm gonna show you a little something something here. <clears throat> so I'm sure there's probably at least three people that are like, oh, you did it wrong. It's going to be ruined. We'll see. So I'm just going to fine tune this where I want it. Okay. Everything's good. We can do the little finger test. Okay. Nothing's peeling back. Nothing's coming back. Now, just because I can, we'll take, uh, this is an isopropyl alcohol mix. Uh, man, it cuts through that soap and debris and all that stuff, dude, so, so quick, so easy. Uh-huh. We'll just go ahead and wipe this down. What we're looking for here is obviously any kind of groups of contamination. It looks like we have, oh, nope, that's, uh, yeah, we got two specks up here. This little weird thing that was on the glass, now it's gone. Everything's covered edge to edge. Okay, now how are we going to get that to stick? Go ahead and wipe this mirror off for them. Well, we need to heat it up, and we're going to use our friend the torch. See how we keep that heat moving, and we don't, we're not like burning the rubbers. Like, I can put my hand on this anywhere you want, uh, and I'm just doing this top couple inches. And basically, I won't be able to put my hand on it and like that's kind of warm, right? Actually, Maggie brought me my little temperature gun. Let's see what it says. Uh, about 100, 106, 100 degrees, something like that. About 100 degrees. We can go a little bit touch, touch more if we want. Um, big thing is, I'm going to put our hand on the inside. Feel it's pretty warm. What that's going to do is that's going to make that film stick quick, real quick. Kicks and giggles. Okay, then. Uh, we're going to come back with our chiseler. I wrap it in a hard, or in a hard card. I wrap it in a towel. Shop towel is my preference. Microfiber just doesn't work as well. I'm just going to bump this edge. All that's going to do is any kind of uh, moisture that might still be lingering there, I'm just going to push it up and absorb it. Now right here where we had our two little specks, we'll just go ahead and massage them out. Now from the outside, it's gonna be essentially invisible, which I know somebody's gonna say, well, it's gonna get rolled up anyway. Yeah, you're 100% right. Um, and the reason why I wanted a hard pass, this top edge especially, is because once you heat this up, you can't mess with it too much. Like if you had a bubble here, you can't push it up and out because it's, it's gonna make a glue smear. It's not good. So we're looking pretty freaking good. Now, what I like to do to take the test, I like kind of push on that film. See how it's just, it's moving a little bit, but it's not sliding all around the glass. That's what I want. I could use this to be a little bit warmer, but I think we'll be okay. Now, let's see, let's see if we break it or if it like slips or anything. Sometimes with these seals will be so tight, they'll actually shove the film down. Uh, and now you can see, we got just a little bit of film uh, to tuck below the gasket. So, I mean, same principle, man. We're just taking the judge, which this is a cleaning and prep squeegee. And what I like that to do is it's not a hard squeegee, so it's gonna kind of distribute that moisture and everything real nice. Uh, and then, you know, now we can come back and do a little hard pass. You can see we don't have any fingers, no snap shrinking required. We didn't do any of that fancy stuff. Uh, and then we can push up here too. I don't know if you can tell, but we got a little bit of moisture. Uh, we don't want to get within this bit because it's going to be warm. Same same reasons I mentioned earlier. So now we can really put a hard hard pass on it, really extract that moisture, which in this case doesn't really matter. This car is not going to get picked up until this evening anyway, but 1017, man, I really wanted to be wrapping this old deal up by about... Uh, 10 30 but oh well oh well not the end of the world all right go ahead and wipe our panel down real quick boom boom drop the towel on the floor for the 97th time boom boom let's 
triple alcohol mix, man. It works so nice. Makes these windows look so good. Now, okay, so now we'll come back, grab a yellow towel because they don't lint too bad, and do like a dry pass here. Because I want to show you guys, uh, a lot of these YouTubers, man, they, you know, they'll do a window, and oh yeah, look at this sweet car. I'll put you on the glass. Okay, we got, we got a little bit of dust and lint on the outside, right? Okay. So we had a couple little specks up there that are now hidden. Okay, you see anything? Go nice and slow. There's no contamination anywhere in this window except for that little speck right there, which you're not even gonna see. Nobody's ever gonna see that. Looks like we might have one there. And then the two specks up there on the top edge. That don't matter, because they're sealed up. So. Boom, <clears throat> that's how you do it, kids. Uh, just proof in the concept, I know what the F I'm talking about, sometimes. What's happening, everybody? Hey, if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you wanna see the full length version uh, with way more tips, tricks, knowledge, know-how, go ahead and click that uh, membership button on the channel homepage. Uh, we got two different plans and uh, we got special perks we're gonna do live chats and you know all that fun stuff but this will get you exclusive access to membership only videos which like i i kind of have some snips and clips in there that's going to be full length it's going to be like literally no editing everything as it goes so much stuff guys stuff that took me seven plus years to learn i'm giving to you for an extremely, extremely low price. So right now we got one video on there ready to go. By the time you see this, there will probably be a couple more. And uh, I thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.